You look like you're ready to work out. Someone told me we were doing the workout video and I had to get in, you know, in the gear. Yeah, I like it. Well, I, I make this stuff look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna lie. You make everything look good. Well, you know, That's why we have you in our videos. Of course. <laughs> in case what I make is bunk. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so today we wanted to have a little bit of fun and also hopefully be a little bit helpful and talk about um, undoing the, sort of the needle felting, um, I don't know what to call it. The, the hunch. hunch. Yeah, yeah. We've gotten some questions about um, you know wrists and elbows and shoulders and necks and just how you know how do you work and questions and complaints I guess you guys need to take care of yourselves out there yeah so we had just have we just for fun we have like five or ten minutes of um, some stretches to show you and we think maybe you could have it open in another tab and then if you're working from a video, set a timer. I would never be this organized. <laughs> and then go to the other tab and stop and just do do this stuff. Someone's gonna do it. <laughs> so, um, so one of the things I, I that is important, I think, is to not sit so much. And if you are sitting, to get up periodically. So I have my felting surfaces at work are about 40 inches. Um, this is a, a little bit high, but generally about 40 inches. And so I can stand because I, I, I mostly stand. And you want your work to be sort of level with your belly button or your elbow, so that you know, so that you don't have to bend, bend over, really. So ideally, you're standing, and um, you're not you're not closing, you know, contracting the front of your spine and, and closing over. Um, and when I felt, I, I kind of bounce from my elbow, I've noticed, so I'm not, you know, stressing my wrists out. Um, and what else can we say before we begin stretching? I think that's it. Basically posture, getting up and moving around, and we're going to show a couple of exercises to kind of undo, um, to undo that posture from sitting or working whether it's your desk or needle felting or any other craft and um, yeah and that's it hopefully it'll it'll be helpful and fun I, I think so yeah so, so I think it's important when starting out to just breathe so what you need to do play along people close your eyes close them some you your eyes aren't closed someone out there okay so close your eyes Take several deep breaths, three to five deep breaths. Okay, go. Good. We're ready, we're ready to stretch. We're ready to undo all that gravity and sitting and working and computering. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is loosen up our wrists a little bit. So I want you to make interlock your fingers and just roll your wrists. Take a few deep breaths while you do this. And just loosen that up. All right. You feel that? Does that feel good? Okay. <laughs> let's keep let's keep working our wrists. Make a fist. Grab your fist with your other hand and just gently pull it towards you. Keep that arm straight if you can. Let's take a few deep breaths while we're here. And then let's switch to the other side. I feel that down my whole arm. Especially if you can keep your arm straight. Uh, 
Okay, back to the other hand. Open your palm. Grab your fingers and your thumb with your opposite hand and pull your fingers back towards you. And keep breathing and keep smiling. We have we felters have so much to smile about. Stabbing. Other side. Stabbing. That's all I that's all <laughs> that's the length of my list. Pretty locks. New colors. Fiber fairy. We're gonna alternate back to the other hand and put your palm up like you're asking for wool. And then reach under and grab your thumb, the palm of your thumb, and twist your arm outward. And while you do this, think about drawing your shoulder blades down your back so that you really open up your chest at the same time. And that stretch will go all the way up your shoulder and into your back. Can you hear the birds? Can you hear the sheep eating? <laughs> Other side, palm up, reach under, grab the palm of your thumb, and just give that arm a gentle twist outward. How far can you go? Yeah, nice. We've got some flexible shivers. It's important. All right, so now our wrists and arms should be nice and loose. If we're gonna work on our neck a little bit. So I want you to do me a favor and just kind of slouch, and let your hips come forward and your shoulders come down. Now, I want you to look to your right. We're gonna to look to our left. Keeping your eyes facing forward from your head. Mark, turn your head as far as you can. But mark a spot with your eyes that is the distance that you were able to turn your head. So in other words, you're not looking over your shoulder with your eyes, you're keeping your eyes straight. Okay, but we're slouching. Okay, you guys have that spot? Yeah? Okay, now, stand up straight, shoulders back, shoulder blades engaged and working um, down the spine and your core is pulled in and your chest is up and you're breathing and you're smiling. <laughs> Now, look over your shoulder again. Did you go farther? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take one more element. So that's just freeing the neck, just from posture. Now, cross your arms like a genie. You guys at home are gonna have the right arm on top, and you're gonna go to the right. We're gonna mirror you and go to the left. So we've got our left arm on top. Keep your shoulders and hips and head square. But take your elbows off to the left, to the right. Six times. Four, five, six. Now relax. Get your posture, get your alignment. Now look over your shoulder. Did you go even farther? Yeah. So this is a good one. We'll go ahead and do it to the right or to the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just to feel it, we'll go ahead and look over our, our other shoulder. Let's keep working with this, with the shoulders. And your arms are crossed in the same way. Draw them over your head. You could straighten your arms for this stretch as well. You could be like this. Either way, don't let your shoulders come up around your ears. Keep those shoulder blades down. Try to draw the shoulders down while the arms are up. And then what I want you to do is just go for a nice, easy back bend. Just a nice little stretch. Keep your head in alignment. You don't need to drop your head back. And just feel the front of your body open up. That's the whole point of these stretches is to undo the gravity 
and the work and the sitting. Okay, now it's getting real. The sheep are feeling our vibe. <laughs> All right, while we're here, let's do a little stretch to the side. If you're going to the left or the right, whichever direction you're leaning, you want to point that toe out so you can really get that whole side. And keep breathing. And let's do the other side. Oh, there's a nice breeze. Excellent. One more back bend. How you feeling? Good. Your shoulders nice and loose. Talking to you now. Next we're going to work on our hips. You've got a great big muscle in there that attaches to the base of your spine, goes through your pelvis and attaches to the top of your femur. And we're going to try and get to that muscle. That's your psoas or your hip flexor. It's your stabilizer. It's what keeps us from flopping over. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do some movements from a plank position. If the plank is hard on your wrists or shoulders or you're just not there yet, you can work from your elbows. And if still that um, is not working for you, I've just got a good hip and shoulder opener that you can do on your back on the ground that I'm going to show in a couple of minutes. But we're going to work from the plank and the movement is going to go from plank to down dog to snake, to spider, to hip opener. I'm not good at down dog, so don't judge. It's my, it's my problem area. We're working on it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be in a plank position. Your arms and feet are about shoulder and hip width apart. And then down dog is about, oh, let me just explain this a little bit. Same thing, engaging the shoulder blades, keeping the back straight. You don't want to hunch over. If you need some give, like I do, it's going to be in your bent legs versus I can either have my back straight and bend my legs or I can straighten my legs and round my back. But what I really want to do is have my back straight and then work one leg at a time. The goal is to be able to straighten your legs and have your heels on the ground and your shoulder blades engaged and your back flat and your butt bones pointing up in the air all at the same time. So keep breathing. Feel this all the way down the connective tissue, down your back and your hamstrings. You straighten your back out, Tom. There you go. Draw those shoulder blades down your spine. <laughs> and then back to plank. And then let your knees come down to the ground. You can put the tops of your feet down and let your hips drop. And now we're stretching out the front of our spine. Back to plank. We're going to take the left leg up to our hand, our left hand, like this. Yeah, and that's really going to stretch out that hip flexor. So just rest there for a minute and breathe. Now we're going to take the left foot behind our arms across our body like this and then just put your hips down. The deeper stretch, the more you have your foot forward, the deeper the stretch. And if you can, you can go down on your elbows or even down on the ground. When my low back is hurting me, this fixes it, along with twists. There's so much to do. We're gonna try and give you just these five or 10 minutes. Okay, back to plank. Right foot up to your hand. Stretch through that back leg too. Keep that back leg reaching, that heel reaching behind you. Bring the leg underneath and 
stretch that hip out. Really opens your hip up. I would work through this three or four times if you can. Plank. Down dog. Snake. Cobra. Dog eats sheep. That's a yoga pose. <laughs> right foot. Okay, we're back to plank first. Right foot. And the hip opener. Feels good, right? All that heavy wool we move. Now, if this type of thing isn't working for you, one thing that feels really good we've discovered is to take a stab it, put it on the floor, put it right under the center of your pelvis. So, um, what is that? Not your lumbar, not your thorax. I'll think of it. Bottom of your spine. And just lay on your back and let your pelvis open around it. And even better, bring the balls of your feet together and draw your heels up as close as you can. And let your knees fall out. So good. So this is easy. Anybody can do this. And then for your shoulders, you're gonna move it up between your shoulder blades and do the same thing. Put your arms over your head. Feel your shoulder blades dropping off to each side. And your chest opening. Take some deep breaths. Clear your mind. Or think about the next very complicated project you're gonna make. Either one. And you're gonna be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little stretch with us. And if you liked it, let us know because we've got some strengthening stuff that we want to do with you too. We got to, you know, get those rapid and stabbing muscles nice and fit. You have anything to add, Milo? You've been very quiet. No, I'm just in <laughs> awe of everything I have been seeing. Happy felting, happy stretching, stay fit.